Good morning, actually, afternoon, and evening too. Doesn't matter the time. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Glory to God. This is going to be very quick. Um, we can't pay the Lord, but we can certainly thank Him. And um, pure gratitude. Hmm. That's what all that's what this is all about. Pure gratitude. It's important to note that this is not a mountaintop message or even a bottom low mess message. This is a just because message. God is good. He has delivered us even though you and I or anyone else could be going through whether up or down moments, the fact is God is good. His only begotten son came here and freed us from eternal death for all whom believe in him. And the death and resurrection of the cross is our symbol of hope and strength that even through the trials and tribulations of this world, one day we're going to wake up into reality. See this here? This is only a blip, only a small little bitty piece of our reality. The true reality is in heaven, and we're going to wake up one day into it. But until then, we've got work to do, and a lot of the work is not even physical. It is believing in the Word of God. See, when Jesus rose from the dead, even if you are painfully hurting, even if you are, 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 are in the dark, if you are feeling amazing, and you're in the light. You're blessed. You're blessed. Ask the Lord to reveal himself to you. Ask him to give you peace. Ask the Lord to allow you to feel the strength that only the who the ru I'm about to say two things, the Ruach HaKodesh, which is Hebrew for the Holy Ghost, can give. That strength gives you strength to do things in your darkest hours. That strength gives you strength to do things when you don't know how to think. That strength gives you strength to do things for your babies, for your husband, for your wife, for your ministry, for anything God calls you to do that you naturally wouldn't have the energy to do. The Holy Ghost gives you the strength to do it and to do it abundantly. But you got to tap into that. You got to ask the Lord to tap you into his power by belief. Belief that only he can do it for you, through you, and in you. See, it's an inside job. God comes in. He enters into the vessel, into what he created. We were only created to worship and be a vessel and to give love. However, we've done many other things with our lives that God never asked us to do. But to go back to your true calling of being a vessel... Meaning a filter to allow the Lord to work through you is to take you to believe again. Believe again. Believe again. You got to believe again. Because if you don't, you're going to be in a state of darkness when you don't have to be. You're physical. You're, everything around you could be dark. But you truly have an ability to tap into the light. When Jesus came out of the cave, he gave you the ability. He gave you the key to tap into the light. And the light is in you. Stop looking for it outward and go inside. But if you got so many things of this world in you competing with it, then you will never see or hear the voice of God in you. These distractions, he said this and she said that and all of this other stuff that people are so concerned with now in celebrity culture, in, in, in intimate relationships, everybody's in other people's business. But are you ready to go home? Are you really ready to, to see if your name is in the book of life? Are you truly aware that we are in the last days and people are being called daily? Out of their bodies? Are you ready for that? You cannot stand account for somebody else's business and whatever they're doing in their mixed up crazy life until you look into your own mixed up and crazy life and my own mixed up and crazy life and see we need our own savior. And other people can't get you there. Only him. The worst thing is to know that there is a possibility he can say, depart from me. I know you not from anybody who's swept up in the world right now. Ask the Lord to pull you back. The Bible says in the book of um, James chapter 4 verse 8. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. 
you make the first step. Peter already made the move by coming out of the grave. The next move is on you and me. There's so much to thank the Lord for. If you can start thanking him, you'll be less likely even concerned about what you don't like. Or what doesn't make you feel good. Or who don't make you feel good. God is good. And that is so far greater than a feeling. There is so much that the Lord has. He's done for me. Mm -hmm. When I, I was a sinner, he set me free, yes he did, all my burdens, he helped me bear, and all my sorrow. The Lord help me share. I can't pay the Lord. Oh, it's right to tell him. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I would not be ungrateful. After all, all the Lord has done, yes, he did. He gave me a little more courage for this gospel race to run. Mm -hmm. I would not, I can't forget. Hallelujah. After all, the Lord, you have never left me yet, and you never will. I can't pay the Lord. No, it's right to tell him. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Listen. He's brought me from my childhood, oh, oh, he's brought me, he's brought me all the way, he's been my shield, ooh, he's been my protection, he's been my, he's been my stay. Oh, I could have been dead, dead, sleeping in my grave. Oh, but he spoke the word. Yes, he did. And told death, death, you better behave. Mm, I can't pay the Lord. No, it's right to tell him. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Oh, yo. Thank you, sir. Ooh, thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I really do thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been my shield. Thank you, Lord. You've been my protection. Thank you, Lord. She's jumping on me. He's been my all in all. Ooh, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, you, you've been my stay. I thank you, Lord, each and every day. Oh, thank 
you. Now the other one. <laughs> Want to get up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Particularly for the things. He is climbing up on me. For the things we don't ever thank you for. We take for granted. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And in closing. Okay, now you got to get down, buddy. Down. Stop jumping on me. I'm almost finished. (laughs) May the Lord bless us and keep us and make his beautiful face to shine upon us and to be gracious unto us. May the Lord lift up his beautiful countenance upon us and give us peace. Peace. Shalom. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen.